This conference will now be recorded. We'd like to show you some related content and related actions. So if we're on a procurement operations homepage, we can go into a fluid tile called the PO approval cycle time. Now what this tile is doing is showing us what really uh, the, the, um, the days since pending where a PO has not been approved. Now normally what you might want to do is do some investigation uh, and then look into uh, why that might be. So in order to do that, really you may want to make some changes to this page. You can make some changes through configuration using related actions. Right now there's a related action to say, add this supplier to the watch list. But perhaps let's say we needed to dig in further into the purchase order details. What we can do is relate, add some related actions to allow us to link right back to the purchase order page. So we are going to go to, I have this set up in my favorites, go into manage related content service, We are going to assign related content to an application page. Now, there's a fluid page, so I have to go navigate to my fluid page. Fluid pages, it's under procurement operations, and my fluid page is my PO approval cycle time. If I click on that, I will go into my configure related actions. Down here, I will add. I want to make sure I use the correct fluid page. So that's my approved fluid tile. Instead of a service, I'm going to do a content reference because I'm going to link to a page. So I'm going to go and select. Basically, I'm telling it what is my navigation. I want to go to purchasing. I want to go to purchase orders. And I want to go to add update POs. That's where I want my link to take me. So now I go into configure. And essentially, I have to tell it um, what my mapping type is. I want it to be a page field based upon my business unit and PO ID. So essentially, I'm saying take the information from the page, the business unit number, the PO number. I have to make sure I'm using the correct one. So I find my business unit, I find my PO ID. PO number. And now I have to decide where do I want that little um, actions tab to exist. I could put it on the actions, or I could say I could put it on the business unit right? and click OK. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now, when we go back to our procurement operations page, okay, when I click into my pre approval cycle time tile, I now have related actions. What it's going to do is take my business unit and my PO number from the page. And if I go to add update POs, it will now take me directly to add update POs page. So what I've essentially done is use related actions to streamline my business process. My business process is find out why it takes so long to approve this purchase order. And part of my business process is going to look at the purchase order. So instead of Xing out navigating to the purchase order, I simply set up related actions. That simple. It's all configuration and a great way you can interact better with uh, PeopleSoft.